Hello and welcome, my name is Lucille and we are going to draw a galloping horse today. We are going to start off by the simple shapes first and we're beginning with a circle for the front part of the horse and a slightly smaller circle for the back side of the horse's body and then joining these two circles and basically drawing the belly and the back. I'm moving on with the back legs and drawing the hock joints and adding the feet locks and then quickly joining them together. Then I'm moving to the front legs and adding in the knee and the front feet lock. I'm just drawing these as circles. And also the approximate shape of the hoof. Then I'm doing the same for the right leg. Now I'm adding a straight line up for the neck and a curved line for the crest of the neck. Then I'm drawing a small circle for the muzzle and a larger one for the cheek. I'm keeping in mind that the horse I'm drawing here has the head very slightly turned towards us. And for that reason we are able to see a part of its forehead. I'm then adding in the ears and finishing off with drawing the hoofs on the back legs. I'm now going to roughly block in the tail and then I'm going to add the eye. So the eye is located in the upper part of the cheek circle and I'm also just adding in the nostrils and the mouth. For the mane I'm just blocking in where I'm going to draw it. So we are done with the rough sketch and if you're drawing digitally you can now turn down the opacity of the layer and add a new one on top so you will be able to work with the sketch and at the end you can then delete it or just make it invisible and only have to finish outlines we are going to do now. Now if you are working with a pencil on paper you can use a kneaded eraser. A kneaded eraser also known as rubber putty is a tool for artists. It's usually made of a grey or white pliable material such as rubber and resembles putty or chewing gum. It functions by absorbing and picking up graphite from the pencil and then lightening without erasing it completely. So you can draw over it and have the very faint outlines of this pre-sketch still visible. So now for the second part of the video I'm just defining the lines and adding a little shading. Having this base structure helps to not get lost in the details and at the end have a beautifully shaded but out of proportion horse. I'm only adding in minimal shading because I want you to be able to draw the horse and then ink it, color it, paint on it or whatever you want after. Now I'm adding a small tuft of hair to the feet locks. Many horses, depending on the breed, have that. Mm -hmm. 
So a quick word on the eyes. Oftentimes horses have pretty dark eyes and can be hard to even see the iris because it just looks black. But trust me, it's not. And if you just ever so slightly differentiate this through sketching, you can give your horse way more character through this. Another thing to add is to leave out a white highlight. The eye, like a human eye, is wet and with the daylight around it is going to shine. So don't forget that, it will make your horse look alive. Now, because the horse is galloping, its nostrils are slightly more open than a horse that is just walking. Because it's eating, needing more air. So keep that in mind too. And to end it off, I'm drawing the free flying mane and the tail. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, let me know which other animal you would like to draw next and don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss my next video. Goodbye!